one month. Jesse left. Smollett testifies. Oh, okay, let's do it. Jesse Smollett this is the last like big news story of the day. Um, before we have True and On come over, okay, well not come over, but I will be talking to them over the internet. Okay. Anyway, um, after that, we're going to have Liz and Brace over to talk about, over Discord, to talk about the Gislaine Maxwell trial. Uh, here it is. Welcome back to CBS Mornings. Jesse Smollett continues testifying this morning at his criminal trial in Chicago, the former Empire actor is charged with six felony counts of disorderly conduct. He's accused of filing a false police report claiming he was the victim of a hate crime attack in 2019. Charlie DeMar is outside Chicago's Cook County Courthouse. Charlie, good morning. Vlad, good morning. So far, Jussie Smollett has spent about six hours on the stand. For one of those hours, Smollett was questioned by prosecutors about why he didn't cooperate with certain parts of the investigation. Smollett also denies claims made by the Osindaro brothers who testified last week that they were paid to carry out the attack. Now, legal experts, they are torn on whether or not the defense made the right move on putting Smollett on the stand. Jesse Smollett is trying to convince jurors he did not stage a violent hate crime on himself. On the stand, Smollett, who was black and gay, said that he and Abel Osindaro were friends. He said they did drugs together and had a sexual relationship. You ready to tell your truth? I'm ready to do what I got to do. Yeah? Yeah. Tell the truth, not my truth. In court, Osindaro told the jury that Smollett wrote him a check for $3,500 for a workout program and for helping to stage the attack. Smollett denied that claim, testifying that the check was for nutrition and training advice. When describing the attack, Smollett said, It felt like someone massive coming up to me, not enough time to think. When asked why he didn't notify police, Smollett said, I'm a black man in America. I don't trust police. Uh -huh. Police entered Smollett's downtown apartment on the night of the attack in response to a 911 call from someone who said they worked for the actor. Smollett is seen on police body camera video in a red and white sweater with the rope around his neck. Brothers Abel and Ola Osindaro were initially identified as the attackers and arrested. Smollett was also arrested, and within weeks, he was charged with staging the crime. But the charges were dropped by state's attorney Kim Fox. A special prosecutor later assigned to the case... What was I've Kim Fox's relationship with Jesse now. Smollett? I, like, Absolutely. forgot the details of this case, but, like, it's such a funny fucking... It's such a funny fucking story. Like, it is just... It's just so obvious what happened okay like i cannot believe that he's still trying to get out of this it is wild like absolutely wild he left the rope around his neck too like he's just so stupid it's so fucking incredibly dumb Cook County State Attorney Kim Fox blew yet another chance to begin to put the Jesse Smollett controversy behind her Monday when she issued a defiant tone-deaf response to special prosecutor handling the case. Uh, web summary was damning and devastating, but rather than issue a long overdue apology or explanation, I made mistakes. I'm sorry. Fox responded defensively yet again, denying any misconduct, including, including her 237-word news release with a declaration that she will have no further statements on this matter. It was a spectacular miscalculation. He's like really, I mean, it was like a really dumb way to do this. Like, that's the point. It's just like, why did you think you would get away with this? Charged Smollett with six counts of felony disorderly conduct for staging and lying to police about the attack. Smollett telling the jury there was no hoax.
It is a terribly high risk for Justice Smollett to take the witness stand in his CBS News legal analyst Ricky Kleeman says that Smollett created an unnecessary burden of proof by testifying in his own defense. What happens psychologically is the jury forgets about the prosecution witnesses, and when they go out, what they assess is do they believe Justice Smollett or don't they? Chuhi Jun, thank you for the 10 gifted subs. And today, prosecutors will finish cross examining Oh, by the way, he definitely should go to jail. I'm sorry. Like, get mad at me all you fucking want. But, like, straight up. Like, I don't know for how long, but. Nuts to just, like, fucking make up a hate crime. Examining Smollett, this case could be in the jury's hands as I soon as tonight. Innocent. Now, Smollett has pleaded not guilty to six counts, and if convicted, he could serve up to... Was it right, Toyd, back when this all happened? Was there much defense for Smollett when this first happened? Uh, not... No, not necessarily. Happy anniversary. It wasn't, it, it, like, who? people... Not really. People thought it was sussy. I thought it was real fucking sussy. There was definitely some people in my chat that were yelling at me. I remember that. Never change chatters. Not Better after it came out that he networks. faked it. No, there were people... I remember people in my fucking chat yelling at me and saying, like, the Chicago Police Department are liars. I can't believe you're siding with them over... Jesse Smollett. I was a much, much smaller uh, streamer back then, but I do still remember arguing with fucking chat. It wasn't one person. No, it was not one person. That's bullshit. I 100% had a fuckload of people being like, yeah, I was like a 3K Andy, and there was still a fuckload of people in here that were straight up saying that I was wrong. Three years in prison. Nate... Charlie, thank you. High profile actor, high profile trial. Mm -hmm. And introducing new facts, it just causes a little bit more confusion. Always curious when I, I a it takes a little late and off topic, but right. thanks yeah, for they say it's always the risky, but listen, he's sticking with nice his story. The Nigerian CEO brothers are sticking with their story. Somebody ain't telling the truth. So it'll be up to the jury to decide. Yeah, I wonder who the fuck is not telling the truth there, man. So strange. I wonder who it is. Crazy.